everyone. Um, I am in my very currently messy RV um, cat proofing. So I figured as I was going through everything, I would share with you the new RV and traveling with five cats, which is special since there's four of us. And as of tonight, there will be five of us. And don't mind me holding cat scratcher trash because I just put up my scratching post ish um dollar tree dollar scratch pads at the front door that way the cats could be able to scent mark the entrance way and that way they wouldn't want to claw on the screen door so that is what's going on here and let me Forgive me, I don't usually use my phone for this. And yes, I look like a hot mess. This is what you get today. Um, apparently that seems to be the theme of my... Oh, wait. Why can't I see the chat? This is so weird. Wait. Hmm. <laughs> Normally it just pops up here. Hmm. That's odd. Well, yeah, so normally it just shows me my chat. And I don't know what's going on today. I hit the chat button. Let's see. Oh, no, that's filters. We don't need filters. Well, <laughs> I might. Uh, let's see. That is not the button I am looking for. But, so give me a second. You all get to go into the dark with me. I'm going to show you the bedroom as I grab here. You can look at the way we are Oh, you can look at, the, just look with me as I get my stuff out of the closet here. So apparently I have to get my iPad and I was not prepared. Uh, my hubby just called. He was working a case. Well, he thought it was a case. Um, was told, you know, there's cars dumped here. They believe that there may be a body from a long time ago in said area. And... What do you know? He went and searched, nothing. Waste of time, but it was on the way, so it wasn't anything big for us. It literally was directly on the road that we were taking. So let me get all connected here. Oh, my, I haven't even pulled out my iPad on the trip. So what's going on here is I'm gonna sit, you guys, can sit with me for a minute and we left yesterday yesterday I want to say noonish for Indiana and we made it it was like 10 o'clock at night slept at a Walmart had generator issues it was not fun it in the where the generator is is in the truck bed and it kept uh like doing this carbon monoxide sensor even though it's open an open area but carbon monoxide settles so it hated us and it took like an hour to get that figured out and here i'm going into my oh okay, i can see live chat now um so yeah uh we are at a boat dock in the middle of nowhere bit sketchy. Doors are locked. Won't lie. Um, do you have a hard time finding lots of rentals with multi kitties? Well, we're in an RV. So usually the RV parks don't have a problem with contained cats as long as they aren't wandering around. And I will show you guys. Let me turn on some lights. You know, that tends to help. Hopefully the generator can take it because we have two air conditionings going with the generator. Um, you can kind of see outside the window, under the bridge, car is parked. There's a really sketchy one like there that when he first came out, I wasn't sure he had clothes on. Um, when he saw us parking, oh look, you can see the hubby. Oh wait, there he goes. <laughs> um, so last night was our and the new RV and 
I'll kind of let you guys see. Yeah, it's a bit messy. I'm mid putting up catifying. We have, oh, the cutest cuddle session ever. Wait, wait, I can flip screens here. There we go. So that's Kitty and Charlie. Kitty is about 17. Charlie's my year old, little special, little on the different side kitty. Found fried in the road. And I have cat scratchers and I was just sweeping so this can come out. This is that stretchy thing that I did a review on. I bought a second one and put them together and the cats love it. My daughter's already making a mess. Go figure. But so yeah, it comes with a fireplace heater, which we could care less about the fireplace part. And as many of you may know, we are talking about living full time for about eight months coming up after the first of the year in our RV. So that's why we needed a little bit nicer, bigger. The 21 footer that we had motor home just was not enough. Oh look, all of a sudden my chat started popping up. That's so weird. Okay, I'm not gonna complain, but hi Ninja Mama. So it's been raining. I have coat, raincoat drying. <laughs> the chaos of the bed currently. Um, cat carrier the whole, for a kitty cat carrier for cindy charlie and don er, uh charlie and ellie may go there and then donnie goes there all in the cab of the car with us so i bring them in here when we unload just so no one can get out of the front door if we're having to go in and out and yes washer dryer combo with a nice little closet this is a bench for storage what uh dresser Hopefully no one's getting nauseous here. Um, the barn door for the bathroom door on this side. And let's see. Typical, oh, there I am, bathroom. But I did put the cat litter box in the bathtub. Yes, it's a pain in the butt to pull out of the tub when we need to take showers. But it was the best place for it. That way we're not getting cat litter everywhere. And if things slide as we drive, it keeps it all contained. Um, I am making a video talking about it, but you can kind of see a little bit of the spot right behind there. Um, my trick, so I don't ruin my septic tank in here, is cling wrap, um, press and seal stuff. That way I press it to the shower, it sticks, and it keeps my drain from getting funky. So, walking around, Woo. yeah, I've been doing the deep down cleaning. Today was the first day that I was able to really even sweep the floor. Oh, there. Um, oh, that's my husband making noise out there. But yeah, first day to sweep the floor, get some of the grime that falls when you drive. Um, the RV dealership told us, oh yeah, when you're ready to buy, like we already put our money down on the RV, but we had to, sorry, multitasking and it wasn't working. They, we had to get the big truck first to be able to pull this bad boy. And they told us, okay, once you have your truck, because we had to have the uh, gooseneck fifth wheel thingy installed into the truck. So once we got our truck back, let them know, and then in a day, we would be able to come and pick up the RV. So we called them last Tuesday, so a little over a week ago, and they tell us, oh, well, we're actually backed up. It'll be next Wednesday, which was the day we were scheduled to leave. Um, they may, managed to move us around with someone, and they put us on Tuesday. So we pushed back the leaving date by one day. Uh, because of school starting and having a schedule, we couldn't just sit around and wait and nicely get the RV ready. So I've been doing things while we're on the road. So we got it Tuesday evening. I had all day Wednesday to stock and then Wednesday or Thursday morning yesterday we left very rushed. So we kept the cats and the RV with us all day Wednesday so they could get used to it and know that, you know, it's a good place. They, they seem happy. I mean, let's see. 
there's Miss LMA. And you can see everyone has harnesses on with their name. They're all microchipped. Um, it's just a little bit of safety, even though I don't have cats that bolt. So this is going to be Adam's room. And there's a bathroom in there with a shower. There is a litter box in that shower too. So we have two litter boxes. Oh, I gotta put the blankets back on the bed. I was dusting off the bed. The kids are arguing, so I might as well show you them too. So up here, we have a big loft space. <laughs> Let me disconnect the charger I just plugged in. Uh, hold up, setting it down guys. I'm way too old <laughs> for climbing up here. Okay, so I just put a wrapping paper from like the Dollar Tree up on the wall. It wraps around as you can see and the kids can decorate their side i am going to put a carton down the middle that way they have his and her sides and we have like uh the tv's laying flat for shipping purposes but there's lots of room up here for them it's a little kid oasis all right bear with me while i set you down again you get to look at the carpet because my old butt and these oh no i can't reach <laughs> hold on i'm coming Okay, sorry about that. Um, these little metal pieces hurt the feet, especially when you start getting old. Um, <laughs> so let me flip you back around here. Okay. So yeah, yeah, they don't feel good on the feet. And I'm gonna sit back down and see what everyone is saying as I show you my armpit and plug it in my <laughs> uh, phone because apparently it's already dying today. Let's see, so, yes, much bigger. Uh, we went from like the smallest <laughs> motor home, like standard motor home that they make, 21 feet, to a fifth wheel, 43 foot, which has been a learning curve, uh, need, <laughs> at least for turning. Um, that seems to be the, the part that we're still working on so we don't damage the wheels because this thing turns awfully wide and let's see will we be homeschooling yes the first part of the school year we will be regular you know let them do their thing at school um my daughter's a cheerleader so we want her to have those experiences and then first of the year they homeschool for the rest of the the school year so current game plan if we do decide to go long term will be basically eight months in the RV, four months for first semester of the school each year and back and forth. Uh, just so they can have some school and some homeschool. Uh, oh, I don't look like a mess. Oh, I feel like it. I got the fake bun in. I'm trying to not, I woke up with an afro, so that's what we're going with. Um, <laughs> it was a very rough night, so we didn't get to sleep until after midnight. And then my Ellie Mae alarm clock started nibbling on me about 7 a.m., which is her usual. And she's so cute just sleeping there. I mean, there's my daughter with her hair in her nose. But look at Ellie. <laughs> oh, that's my daughter presenting her. But, uh, so, yeah, I... Bought a lot of stuff for the RV with only being able to look at pictures. Um, when they make RVs, it's kind of like cars where they do the half year thing sometimes. So our RV has less windows on the top bunk area and different types of windows in the side. So I didn't realize that this area right here, this bottom half would be screened. I thought the screen was on the outside because that's how it was showing in the other pictures but these are on the inside. So like the cat window perch I bought up there is just way too high. So I'll end up using that one at home. And then I bought a double decker one that I thought the cats would like, and I'm just gonna return it. Um, it never came out of the box. It's just too long, it needs a bigger window up and down. So yeah, stuff like that. Um, You'll end up seeing a lot of, is that my husband trying to come in the door? <laughs> I can't tell. Um, oh, no, it's just his boat. Wait, let's see. 
kind of there we go <laughs> nug butt <laughs> but um yeah just I'll end up doing videos showing you the different products that I bought um and why I bought them and then certain things I brought from home like the kitty cat water fountain um my trick that I've already figured out so I don't have to dump out all the water and fill it back up constantly is put the water bowls in the sinks when we travel that way if anything does splash even though I, one of the things I bought was a splash proof uh water bowl not really um <laughs> maybe for a dog but not for a cat because I have to keep the water level too high but um yeah so you'll see a lot of it will you go help your brother please um he's got trash in his hands from the stickers Oh, she saw Victoria's comment about saying hi to her and Gavin. And try to... Yeah, so the swimming noodles, though, they'll roll. And we don't want to slip off of the uh, stairs. So I've already found where you can get how pools have the steps that, like, are flat, I guess you could say. That have little grooves in them to the side that help like grip the steps of the pole going down um so i've already found those that we can put in to kind of help um but again i only had the rv for one day so i couldn't really order things i did manage to overnight toilet paper holders though didn't come with toilet paper holders or hooks in the cabinet uh, in the closet or at least in the guest bedroom the master has closet stuff Go figure. But. Your son is faces. Oh, my son's making faces. Yep. And. Yeah, it's not slippery metal. It's like, um. Oh, we let daddy in. The. Honey. Oh, rhino liner stuff. It's like that kind of texture. And I'm a, after I get off with you guys and there's Mr. Nug. Hi. <laughs> yeah, 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 walk around the charging corner. Let's let Mama do live. Five, five cats and two kids. Uh huh. And a husband. And starting tonight, and Adam Brown too. Um. <laughs> so yeah, life's chaotic. That's why this is not going to be a very long video. I just wanted to show you guys. Everyone wanted to kind of see, and I never had a chance to do one at home because of only having one day I was supposed to have a week to prepare the RV not cram everything in one day so it's been very stressful very just chaotic and but the cats are handling it well that's the important part again I mean look at that just so cute and if you see here these teal things because we only have two standard chairs those are floor chairs that open up and then stay open. So, yeah, so extra seating. And I'm at the dining room table. It does, you have to leave that open. There's a cat in there. Well, they can go under the door. No, they can't. Ellie tried. Yeah, Ellie, Ellie tried to go underneath the door because if you see, there's a little bit of a gap. I thought if they could get their heads through, they get the body. Is that yeah, a myth? They, it is a myth, especially if they have a harness on and <laughs> the harness got caught. Well, jewelry doesn't count. So, yeah, bit, bit um, spacey today. It's just one of those days. It's uh, It was lightning and thundering and we got a late start. Luckily, the nice people at the Culver's restaurant let us park in their park parking lot even though it is not their policy to let people do that with RVs but they understood with the lightning um, they knew you had cats and they loved you for it oh well I pulled the my husband's looking for a missing person card so that's not near as far as like <laughs> I have cats like, oh. yeah I don't think they care about the cats so much but um so yep that was my quick tour of the place and I will be showing you guys different videos and tips and things I'm doing to catify the place and how we're traveling in the big truck with five cats and four of us. Um, you should go live 
while we're driving in the big truck with all the kids in there. Oh, I should, huh? Yeah, that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. I should have gone live yesterday pulling out of the neighborhood mm. because uh, <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, <laughs> yeah, we have a very curvy, hilly neighborhood and people that park in the street. And for your first time, like really pulling something, granted we brought it home, but we took the straight way, <laughs> but the way to get to the expressway out of the neighborhood is the curvy way. And everyone parks in the road. It was just it was, yeah, yeah, a little bit of white knuckling, but we made it out, got to the expressway, got comfortable, and now he drives like a pro. Just well, saying. <laughs> upper level amateur. <laughs> upper level amateur. Yeah. Is that what your scuba diving skills are too? No, I'm pro scuba diver. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> we laugh at our gap. I'm a professional. I love you uh, too. Have a yeah. yeah, and I since I know it was a subscriber that commented and he did erase it, but people f that feel that I should not have brought the cats um, because it's not safe, they're going to escape. There is a lot of things that go into just us even walking in. I am rigging the door to where when you open the door, the screen door always stays shut. So when you open from the outside, you can actually visibly check before opening the door that there's not a cat in the way. Our cats aren't bolters, but it's Cindy's. just a, a, well, Cindy, if she sees grass on the other side of the door, that's a little different. And at home, here she's, where is Cindy? I think Cindy's in my bed, maybe. Let's see. Hey. Oh, just... <gasps> hmm. Do you see a Cindy? No. Oh, she probably went back in the closet. But, yeah, so. So Donnie. Oh, you guys want to see Donnie, my uh, scaredy cat? This is where he has decided he likes. Have you seen, have you seen the snuggles down there? Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, there we go. There, Donnie. Is Cindy back there? And then we have these lovebirds. Charlie forced himself on her. I would say lovebirds. <laughs> like age gap there. Right. Yes. All right, and. Um, there we go. One last look as we say goodbye of kitty yawns. So, here we are. RV, five cats, four people. About to be five people, five cats. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, and I will see you guys in my video on Sunday. Bye. <clears throat>